सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन हाय सिद्धांत हाय संजना सो थैंक्स फॉर अटेंडिंग दिस वेबिनार ऑन आर लेटेस्ट फीचर साइन अपलोड होपफुली बाय द एंड यू बी एज एक्साइटेड अबाउट द फीचर एज वी आर आई एम आदित्य डायरेक्टर ऑफ मार्केटिंग एट लीगैलिटी आई एम जॉइंड बाय सिद्धांत डायरेक्टर ऑफ प्रोडक्ट एट लीगैलिटी एंड संजना हुज अ प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर दैट वर्क ऑन दिस फीचर uh please feel free to drop questions in the q and a box uh and we'll take them up at the end of the session but before we deep dive into the feature i want to lay down the brief agenda for this webinar uh we'll be spending the first few minutes introducing legality for all the new faces on the call after that we'll be identifying the exact gap that sign upload was built to solve and then why exactly sign upload is revolutionary and we'll tell you why we believe this and you can agree and disagree after we're done all of this will take about 8 7 to 8 minutes after which sanjana will be showing you exactly how the feature works on legality after the demo uh, we usually re receive a lot of questions about legal validity of new sign types that we launch uh, i'll be covering that for sign upload briefly and finally we'll discuss a few sample use cases an offer that we have for you to start using sign upload and what's on the road map for sign upload itself first i'll briefly introduce you to legality for old faces including some clients who are on this webinar apologies for these few minutes it's stuff you probably heard before but this will just take a couple of minutes legality fundamentally exists to help businesses solve the paperwork problem and the paperwork problem contrary to what many think is not just a direct cost issue paperwork has several unseen costs that impose serious structural disadvantages on business in india today think of the hours your team spent daily doing mundane paperwork tasks instead of their core work think of the delays in your core business relationships solely because paperwork took a lot of time right you can't really quantify these costs on a balance sheet but you all know these are real tangible problems that probably exceed the direct cost implications of physical paperwork legality is built to get you from this world of immense cost to the one in green on the table here right so while paperwork may have unseen disadvantages the flip side is that if you fix them you stand to gain exponential advantages solving the problem through legality is not just a plaster on the problem it's a whole 180 degree turning the problem of paperwork into a competitive advantage for you so think about the exponential benefits you get if your key processes like loan dispersal take minutes instead of days if your teams no longer have to spend hours doing paperwork that's hours they unlock to focus on their work and life right again hard to quantify these benefits on a balance sheet but undeniable exponential benefits so how we help you solve this problem is through our document infrastructure platform because the paperwork problem cannot be simply wished away by a simple e sign api you need tools that solve for each operational leg and each compliance requirement of the paperwork execution process you also need the system to scale up fast and show you roi immediately exactly what our platform is designed for you need minimal tech involvement to go live at scale with legality and we're not just speaking theoretically here we've helped 1500 companies digitally transform over 700 different types of paperwork flows from big banks to reputed investment firms to high growth startups so with that out of the way let's discuss the feature at hand sign upload we'll spend a few minutes talking about why we built sign upload and then we'll show you a live demo this context setting is important because it will give you a clear idea of how sign upload can help you so a key part of document infrastructure and generally digitizing document execution is the e signature right but with e signature a special problem crops up that doesn't exist with physical signatures e sign ultimately is nothing but a series of technical steps performed to affix a signature digitally but the issue is if a signer is unable to operate or perform those technical steps then the entire paperwork process breaks down and you're forced back to like forced back into physical that's why universal access to all compliant e sign types for all types of scenarios is the bedrock of legality some are digital for assisted journeys like aadhar biometric and fingerprint e sign some are digital like aadhar e sign uh, dsc token uh, things like that working well for both remote and assisted journeys sign upload is the first digital signature we've developed that actually works for both scenarios assisted and remote journeys so unlike other digital modes 
which require say a special device like a biometric device which obviously in a remote journey is impossible not your customers don't have a biometric device so unlike those digital modes signers don't actually need any special device to perform a sign upload as sanjana will show you in the demo a simple smartphone or a laptop will do so this gives you you realize this gives you unprecedented flexibility for a wide variety of use cases which we'll discuss at the end of this webinar so look at this point you'll be thinking right what about aadhaar e sign right in a lot of cases cryptographic electronic signatures like an aadhaar e sign or even maybe a dse token do work but there are some critical situations where they don't one situation is where a signer is simply uncomfortable with aadhaar e sign or don't have an aadhaar e sign link whether phone or email id is not really connected to their aadhaar number here you cannot really force them to e sign right in another situation some regulation may actually require a cropped image of a signature by law here also you cannot use an aadhaar e sign in a third situation your internal compliance process may require the signature to actually visually look like a physical signature in all these three scenarios and there could be more scenarios you really have only two options one is to go back to dreaded physical which let's be honest no one wants to do the other option which a lot of you will be familiar with is virtual signature impressions the thing you sign with you know courier delivery when you're taking a high value delivery or if you dealt with say american or european companies it's the link e signature link that they send you is usually a virtual signature impression right but there's a massive problem with this right this virtual signature impression that we've seen which often leads to legal and compliance teams shooting down down the digital project altogether it was this massive problem that our product team started with over to you siddhant thanks and thanks to everyone who's attending this uh, webinar uh, so just taking on from that um we are looking at virtual sign right and and how to make that uh, really better and take that to the next level right uh, now at legality what we are trying to do is build great digital products for indian enterprises and when we talk about building great digital products i think we can talk about two specific categories that need to be checked right number one the product must be really easy to use and if it's joyful to use that's even better right and the second category is that the product must be highly accurate must be high secure right that's when enterprises are able to trust the solution as well now what we found was that the virtual sign which is doing an otp and then and drawing your signature on a computer screen doesn't really do justice to either of these two categories right now if if you have tried drawing your signature on a computer screen especially on a laptop or a desktop uh you would agree that that process is not really joyful right it's not easy to draw your signature imagine trying to replicate one of these signatures uh on a digital screen using your mouse right it's not an experience that would be very easy uh you would struggle to authentically replicate uh your signature there would be a lot of erasing lot of going back and forth right so the experience is not joyful it's not easy uh and coming to the second category despite your best efforts you, you will by and large not be able to replicate your signature accurately no matter how hard you try using a mouse or a trackpad will not let you in most cases accurately and faithfully recreate your signature right which causes an issue when it comes to security which causes an issue when it comes to accuracy right because one of the biggest reasons why businesses want their customers to draw signatures is that tomorrow when you have a further interaction with the customer you can actually compare this drawn signature to see whether it's actually the person who he claims to be right so unless the signature is actually very faithfully replicating how your real signature looks like the security and accuracy really goes down notch right uh, so considering these two factors uh we how can we improve this experience right uh, and the solution was very clear to us that, that we need to improve the drawing experience for the signature itself right how can we draw the signature in a better way and help users draw the signature in a better way uh, this led us to finding the best device possible for drawing a signature and we realized the best device for this is actually our hand right we've all been drawing signatures 
and drawing all sorts of things all our lives. Uh, so the way we can draw things with our hand cannot be replicated on a laptop or a mobile phone. Right. Uh, so so the question really is now how can we bring in a hand drawn signature to the digital realm? Uh, Subesh, could you switch to the next slide? So when we when we talked about uh, using hand signatures and using the power of our hands the dexterity of our hands to draw really accurate signatures we looked at the market looked at the existing solutions to see whether this is something that uh, indian businesses already have right and we, what we saw was something like this which you're seeing on screen here right which is allowing customers to actually upload an image of their signature but the image would be uploaded as is right now this creates second order issues there is a lot of noise in this image uh, it doesn't distinguish the signature from other aspects of the image right the gray background here has been replicated as is into the signature it doesn't inspire anyone with any degree of confidence right imagine a really serious sha or loan agreement which has a signature which looks like this and that is what is available in the market right so we realize that we can do much more here, right? We can leverage the power of our hands. We can ask users to draw their own signatures or upload a copy of their hand-drawn signatures. But what we actually want to do is leverage the power of technology to draw out only the signature from this image, right? Cut out all the noise, cut out everything that you don't need so that at the end of the day, what you have is a hand-drawn signature, which is really clean, accurate, and serves the purpose of the business, which is tomorrow to identify and match that signature against some other signatures, right? Uh, so that's what we've tried to achieve using uh, this particular product with this particular upgrade, uh, improving the customer experience of drawing and also improving the end result and accuracy of the signature itself. So without further ado, uh, uh, over to Sanjana to actually show you how this works in the legality environment. Uh, hello, so I'll quickly show you how to sign documents using the new uh, sign upload feature. Sign upload basically means that you just uh, draw your signature on a blank piece of paper and then use it to actually sign the documents. Um, let me start my screen share so that I can quickly go over the demo. Okay, is my screen visible? Yes. Uh, so as you can see, this is the legality dashboard. Um, and this is the workflow page where I have pre-configured a workflow just to keep the demo uh, short and simple, uh, which I will now run to trigger a sign invitation to myself, uh, which I'll use to then virtually sign the document using the new sign upload feature. Uh, this is the usual flow wherein you upload a document. Uh, so I'll use a sample loan agreement document here, uh, which I will then sign. Uh, so you click on upload. Uh, here I've already pre-configured my uh, email address, etc., wherein I'll receive the uh, sign invitation. And you can see that a virtual sign is already uh, configured wherein uh, there are different kinds of virtual signatures along with the new allow sign upload feature. Uh, I'll click on next. So this is the loan agreement and this is where uh, your signature will appear, uh, which will basically be uh, very similar to my actual sign because I'm using the new sign upload feature. Uh, so I'll send the invitation. Uh, so the invitation is now already sent and uh, I'll sign it. Uh, so I'll go to the signing journey. Here the first uh, screen shows me the loan agreement and uh, the placement where my signature will appear. And then I'll click on proceed. So since this is a secure uh, virtual sign, I'll receive an OTP in my email address, which I'll quickly copy paste.
Great. So this is the virtual uh, signature uh, screen where you can see that there is a draw option. Uh, like we mentioned that it is very difficult to actually uh, use your mouse to you know draw your signature. Uh, it just becomes very difficult to do it. The other one is the select option. And you can see that this definitely does not represent how my actual signature looks like. Uh, the fixed uh, fingerprint option where you need a biometric device. And finally, the new sign upload feature uh, where you can actually uh, use your original signature, uh, draw it on a blank white piece of paper, and then either upload it or capture it. Um, there are certain do's and don'ts listed out over here uh, that we need to take care of just so that uh, the signature appears like the way you want it to. Uh, that is the, uh, the using the front facing camera is uh, generally a better option to do so. Then signing on a ruled paper or a printed paper that might make it very difficult for uh, our algorithm to detect the signature. So you have to make sure that you use a blank uh, white paper. And uh, also if you're cropping out signatures from uh, images that might not ensure that it comes uh, exactly like you want it to. So just to ensure that your signature appears very clean and neat, uh, you make sure that you sign on a blank piece of paper. Uh, let's look at the upload flow now. Upload basically means that you can drag and drop or upload a file from your computer that is uh, pre-saved on your computer, wherein you have already drawn a signature. So let me show you that. So I have this image, which I'll upload. So the image was now taken and I am uh, shown a screen where you can then do some processing on the image, like rotate or crop your signature. If for best results, it is better to, you know, crop it and fit and make sure that your signature perfectly fits in the box. You can also uh, zoom in or zoom out a little bit and use the rotate options, but that is not required currently. So I'll keep it as it is uh, and I'll proceed. So we do some processing on the signature and we remove the background and convert the signature into a vector form, wherein only your signature is detected and if, uh, all the background no noise, et cetera, is eliminated. So by doing so, um, we generate three uh, probable images of your signature uh, and you can then select the ones that uh, the one that suits the best. So I can see that probably this is the darker one or the best one. So I can select that and I can use that to sign the document. Uh, you can see that other two images are also not very bad, but just to be sure, I'll just use the darkest one. Uh, and I'll proceed. Uh, okay, so the document is now signed uh, and I'll show you how exactly it looks on the actual document. So let me just pull out. Yeah, so this is the document and uh, you can see the signature on the document. Uh, it looks very clear, uh, very similar to the actual signature and it was very simple to actually do so. Uh, you, you also get an audit trail along with the signed document that, that you can go through. Okay, so uh, now let's look at the capture flow as well. So I'll just directly go to the signing journey this time. It's the same agreement and uh, like I mentioned, the sign will appear here. It's the same steps basically. Again, I've received an OTP in my mailbox, which I'll copy paste over here. Uh, yeah, so this time I'll directly capture uh, the signature from the blank piece of paper that I have instead of dragging it uh, from my computer. So let me just do that. Uh, 
uh, cool. So now you can see that the signature is on the bottom right side of the box. So I will just quickly make sure that it covers the entire signature, the crop box, and uh, just to make sure that the signature appears like I want it to. So this looks good enough and I'll proceed with that. Uh, so it gives me three images uh, like the one that happened in the last flow as well. Uh, but I'll just quickly show you. So be, uh, so if there are there is a possibility that there's some noise that comes into the image or you're not happy with the final uh, result that it's showing you. In that case, you can uh, click on the try fixing it button, which will again then let you recrop or re-rotate the signature the way you want or you can also re-upload a better image of the signature if that's what uh, serves the purpose so i'll just go back and select the best out of the three i think the first one looks good enough uh, and i'll proceed with the signature Uh, cool. So the document is now signed and uh, let me again pull out the document. Okay, so as you can see, the document is signed and my signature appears where I want it to. And uh, it looks very neat and clean and actually represents my actual signature. Uh, so this is how uh, the sign upload feature basically helps you in signing documents uh, in the format that you would want to because uh, this is your actual signature and you would probably prefer signing documents uh, using your own signature. So uh, yeah, so this is this concludes the demo and uh, over to you Aditya. Thank you. Thanks Anjana, thanks Siddhant. So actually before we move on, uh, we've received three questions and I think uh, rather than taking them at the end, they're very topical to the product. So I think we'll take them up now itself. Uh, so the first question is, uh, if, uh, so all three questions by Umesh, uh, the first question is if we have this functionality already in your existing system, then how will the legality solution help? Uh, great question. Uh, so the answer to that is ultimately, uh, if you want to use the same capability, uh, via legality, you will need to shift to the legality sign upload where that can be beneficial to you is that the audit trail we generate at the end right which details the entire execution process you will have the sign upload also being captured because if you're doing this sign upload or sign cropped image attachment outside of legality you won't get the record of that crop or a fixture on the legality secure audit trail which is also an audit trail we secure with digital signatures to ensure that you know it has evidence act presumptions of validity so that audit and security benefit uh, is added if you use it through legality. That's one. The second is, I think, what Siddhant talked about. Uh, so I'm not sure about your system specifically, but a lot of systems that we've seen essentially just take the image with the paper in the background as well. And that often gets blurred out. Uh, with sign upload, what we do is we do an exact crop where it's literally cropping just the signature from that piece of paper and affixing it on the paper. So both visually and optically as well, it gives the impression of literally actually physically signing, but doing that digitally. So, so on both a visual and optics level and on a secondary audit trail security level, uh, using sign upload through legality can help. Uh, but fundamentally, uh, and Siddharth, you can correct me if I'm wrong, there's no way to integrate your existing sign upload capability into the legality flow. Uh, yeah, that's right, Aditya. Right. Uh, so, so the second question is, uh, is the signature, how, how, you know, how do we ensure that the signature is not stored in legality and that it's encrypted to ensure confidentiality, secrecy, and limited use only, uh, right? Uh, so on the encryption part, uh, let's it cover that. On the first part, that uh, legality, uh, we don't store the signatures. Uh, we do purge them from the system. So it's not, uh, so, so 
we have like we don't store the signatures basically now in in terms of the actual signing journey what's the encryption level uh, let's say answer that yeah so Aditya, as you said uh, we don't really save the uh, the signature image separately uh, but uh, the signature is a part of the document which is saved on legality uh, that document is encrypted uh, both at rest and in transit uh, and uh, it's encrypted using customer specific encryption keys uh, and customers also have the ability to delete the document from our system and purge it uh, both automatically and manually so in that case if they don't want it to be on our system at all even as a part of the document then that option is also available right but in any event uh, the base functionality is of encryption at rest using client specific keys right and the final question uh, does this okay this is actually a two part question one is does it does this have a signature verification capability a process as well and the second question is uh, can any signature image be uploaded what are controls to essentially ensure that it's an uncontaminated clean signature image uh, being affixed so the second part said i'll let you answer the first part uh, umesh right now we don't have a signature verification built in However, it is on the roadmap for sign upload. Right now, it would be a manual matching system, but we are building capability to do a automatic sign verification as well. Uh, on the second part, Sid, on terms of the image sanctity, uh, I'll let you answer that. You are Sanjana. Yeah, so Aditya, I mean, uh, that's right. Uh, verification is something that, uh, you know, is definitely step two of this uh, product, right? Where uh, you can uh, verify uh, using, uh, you know, some base document or source document, uh, which as Umesh has just said, you know, signature match will be available on API to pull available signature from our system for verification, right? Uh, so that's definitely step two of, you're not there yet, right? We want to first uh, get customers used to drawing these kinds of signatures and getting familiar with it. And definitely the next step is to do a signature match, but that's one for our future roadmap, right? Um, but yes, I think uh, Umesh, as you've mentioned, it will be something like this where, you know, uh, either through API or uh, on the dashboard, we get the signature and then we do a match and give back a result potentially. So that's something we will definitely look at in the future. Right, Sid, I'll let you take the other question as well. Uh, signature image capturing and storing process, uh, tail embedding, uh, uh is that encrypted in transit because basically we are capturing it for some point to embed it right to affix it. yes yes so in transit it's uh encrypted uh, uh using ssh protocols and uh, tls so there is encryption in transit and uh, also encryption uh, at all levels right so wherever the image is saved uh whilst it's being processed uh everything is uh, encrypted right uh so you know, that's something that customers can be rest assured. Great. Uh, so we will also at the end also be giving you an opportunity to raise your hand. So if you, you know, want to have a live open discussion with us as well, like with a mic, uh, we'll be happy to give you mic access at the end as well. Uh, before that, I wanted to just, you know, detail the legal validity and what's on the roadmap of sign upload. Uh, so Shubhash, if you can share the deck again. Uh, so essentially also wanted to recap, recap the demo itself, what you just saw there, right? Ultimately sign upload literally lets you have your cake and eat it too, because signers get the comfort of a physical signature, which no matter what the problems are, people are still used to that process for what it's worth. A uh, second, you, even though they get the comfort of a physical signature, you get the compliance and operational benefits of electronic signing, the audit trail, digital stamping and things like that. And finally, the document gets an electronic affixture of an actual wet ink signature, not a weak imposter that we often see, uh, not a you know, weak lookalike, but the actual wet ink signature in all its glory right there on the document digitally. It, it doesn't even look identical. It's literally the same thing as what you've signed on a piece of paper, right? Um, at this stage, uh, you know, all the operational benefits, how it works is well and good, but what about legal validity, right? Uh, well, it's perfectly valid under law. Remember for most documents, I would say 95% of documents, you have full liberty to execute them in any mode possible, right? And section 10A of the IT Act, a 
acknowledges this fact. Under Section 10A, you can use any electronic method to execute a document validly. Sign upload is simply one such method. So really, there are only two scenarios where you can't use sign upload, right? One is where a law specifically requires a signature and the law will actually use these words signature or signing as the only mode of execution. For example, in the recent digital lending guidelines, it explicitly specified digitally signed documents by the lender. You can't use sign upload to comply with that requirement, uh, right? Uh, where it actually mentions signature. But you'll see that, you know, when you look at regulations, most documents are not governed by such a law and most documents can be executed through any mode possible. The other scenario is where it's a document listed under Schedule 1 of the IT Act, uh, right? Fortunately, this was recently amended. So if you're in the BFSI sector, you can now digitally execute DPNs and POAs I mean, you can execute them digitally, which you couldn't earlier before the amendment. And for any sector, immovable property contracts can also be digitally executed. So it's really rare that your document is going to be under Schedule 1 of the IT Act. So really, when evaluating sign upload, right, uh, you need to do this first or your legal and compliance team needs to do this first. See whether there is a specific law or regulation that specifies that signature with the words signature or signing there in the regulation which specifies that as the only mode of execution or see whether that document is something that's under Schedule 1 of the IT Act. If the document is not under any of these two exceptions or these two exception categories, then you can use sign upload as a legally valid signature. Of course, this is only one part of evaluation, validity. Validity, however, is not the only criteria to evaluate a signature. The other factor is ease of enforcement, either say in a court or in a regulatory audit. So ease of enforcement is fundamentally a creature of technology, right? How much authentication and indisputability is built into the technical steps to affix that electronic signature. So the gold standard here is electronic signatures like an Aadhaar e-sign or say a DSE token e-sign, right? They both have not only technical presumptions, but they actually have legal presumptions in their favor as well. However, and this is a mistake people often make, it really makes no sense to compare sign upload with say an Aadhaar e-sign because think about it, right? Sign upload helps you where Aadhaar e-sign or DSE tokens are either unviable or make no sense. So the option isn't Aadhaar e-sign versus sign upload. It's actually, and think about it, right? In the status quo, when a compliance team puts, puts their foot down saying only Aadhaar e-sign, uh, what they mean is Aadhaar e-sign, otherwise use a physical vetting sign because say virtual sign options are not exactly matching the signature, right? But think about a vetting sign itself, right? It has no authentication mechanism. People are made to sign blank forms often. You can lose agreements with a vetting sign, which makes the whole process uh, null and void, creating more legal issues. And physical documents ultimately can be tampered with. So here sign upload is stellar, right? We mandate an OTP authentication before sign upload can even be performed. We then also capture the physical signature with an exact match. The affix sign up image is then backed by a legality secure digital signature, something we affix on the entire document to ensure that the document can see anti tampering benefits of a digital signature. Then, uh, depending on your risk appetite, you can turn on some of our optional security features like multi factor authentication, GPS capture, face capture. Basically, to dispute a sign upload, a signer will need to dispute they entered an OTP sent to a device which is theirs. They would need to then deny and prove that the vetting signature that they've used is also not theirs. Then they can't allege tampering because the document is digitally signed by legality, ensuring evidence act presumptions for the document. And all of this is recorded in an audit trail. And if face and GPS are there, there are an additional two parameters for the signer to essentially deny and prove. Basically, it's much, much, much harder to dispute a sign upload signature than it is to dispute a physical signature. Sign upload is easier to enforce. And in that sense, sign upload is very close to Aadhaar e-sign in terms of ease of enforcement, right? So again, when evaluating sign upload, the only thing you need to do is see if the document requires a signature specifically by law, which is quite rare. Then you need to see if it's under Schedule 1, which now for the BFSI industry at least is also quite rare. Right. Once you've established this, you know it's valid. And then it's a clear cut choice, right? In terms of ease of enforcement between a harder to enforce, operationally very painful wet ink signature 
or a easy to enforce operationally smooth sign upload so this is the real choice you need to make as a compliance team if you're in a business team this is the actual choice you need to take to your compliance team it's not sign upload versus an aadhar e-sign it's sign upload versus say an existing physical sign or say a virtual signing method right uh, so with the legal validity out of the way and we actually have a book on the laws of e-sign which we'll also share with attendees after this webinar uh, before we finish up want to discuss some potential use cases for sign upload uh, this is not an exhaustive list. This is simply an illustrative list, uh, right? So you may have other use cases as well where sign upload is, you know, handy. And we'd actually be happy to hear about those use cases as well. So one, imagine you're a portfolio management service, right? A SEBI's 2020 EKYC circular specifically specifies a cropped signature for one leg of the documentation journey, right? Literally here, the only sign type you can use in a smooth way digitally is sign upload, uh, through legality and of course uh, a lot of systems have their own built-in capability like this uh, which i had discussed earlier right and there you'd have to just evaluate the benefits of using it via legality or via your own system right a second is imagine you are an mfi or an nbfc dealing with customers who are either uncomfortable with adhari sign or don't have it linked and we've seen in market that you know about 30 percent 20 to 30 percent don't actually have that linkage or have lost their phone or have lost the phone number which is actually linked to their Aadhaar. Right. And what happens usually is they break out a physical document kit, having to maintain a physical process for these scenarios, which are non-trivial edge cases. Right. Uh, here, rather than break out a physical document kit, you can maintain the digital journey. You simply need to use sign upload. You will get a valid auditable signature completely digitally without really having to break your move towards digital. A third scenario, and we've been specifically asked this by a few banks, is where a bank wants to execute electronically but specifically wants a visual impression of a sign so that their branch can match it with their records. Sign upload is perfect for such a scenario. But honestly, this is just the beginning for sign upload. What we've shown you is version one. Uh, should, yeah, uh, We have some exciting updates in the pipeline for sign upload. One, as we discussed earlier, is an auto match. So right now what happens is matching happens at a branch or office level manually. Uh, we are building a feature where if you have the customer's specimen signature saved, uh, say taken from the ID card or during the KYC process, you can actually match their sign upload uh, with that specimen automatically. All uh, right. Another feature, and this is really useful for authorized signatory signing with your own organization, is the ability to save the sign upload signature in the legality dashboard. Once this is possible, you can actually use legality's automated sign capability to automatically affix authorized signatory sign uploads at scale. Uh, your authorized signatory will also have a simple two-click way of affixing their sign upload signature and won't need to manually sign on a piece of paper each time. So that's it. That's the webinar on sign upload. We hope you enjoyed it. Before taking questions, wanted to highlight a special offer. We are offering a free trial of sign upload for anyone for a limited duration. This means no additional platform fee to use the feature transactional fees will still apply. Uh, we'd be happy. And of course, it's free on sandbox and testing environment. So uh, no matter the free trial period, you can test it out for free, right? For, 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 a long, for a long time with no time limit, right? We'd be happy to get you up and running with this free trial right away. Uh, if you're an existing customer, simply reach out to your legality customer success advocate or email us at support at the rate legality.com. If you're not a legality customer, simply drop an email to inquiry at the rate legality.com. Now, if you forget all of this at some point in the future, simply visit our website legality.com. There's a form you can fill there at the bottom of the page. Also, uh, we'll be dropping contact coordinates for Siddhant, Sanjana and I in the chat box. Uh, feel free to reach out to us, you know, if you have any questions about this webinar. Um, with that, let's head to the open Q&A. And yes, we'll be sharing the recording within the next 24 to 36 hours. So expect uh, that email in your inbox with the presentation deck and the webinar recording. And of course, our laws of e-sign book, which you can share with your legal team, uh, which kind of talks about uh, legal with
certain types. Uh, with that, the open as well. Uh, so the one question is, is the nomination form uh, considered for upload of specimen signature uh, under the new amendment of the IT Act? Um, Omesh, need some, so, uh, need some more clarity on what the nomination form is. Uh, can I give you mic access? I, I've given you mic access. Hey, hi, Aditya. Hi, Omesh. Yeah, so which is written uh, the... POA or the digital lending agreement, which are excluded from the upload of uh, sign usage. And there's also written, et cetera. So is there any exhaustive list or it's ambiguous statement from the IT Act? So Umesh, it's very simple. Um, if the regulation, right, or the law specifically says that this document must be signed, right? Uh, and you'll note that... Uh, for most documents out there, there's no specific regulation which says you have to execute via signature. But for things like uh, in stockbroking industry, DMAT forms, uh, it's the SEBI regulation specifically that must be a sign, right? Um, so there's no exhaustive list under the IT Act. The IT Act simply says that where a law or regulation mandates signature, right? Using those words signature as the mode of execution, then you can you need to use say an Aadhaar e-sign or a DSE token e-sign. But if there is no, so it really depends on the regulation under which the document you want signed is governed. Now, so if the nomination forms under SEBI, uh, if SEBI simply specifies that you need to have a nomination form without using the word sign, signed or anything related to sign anywhere, then you can use sign upload. But if there is a specific mention that a nomination form must be signed and that's there in the regulation, then you would, you know, have to stick to an Aadhaar e-sign. Uh, or, or thanks, a thanks. Open e -sign. I did for clarity. Right. And I think thanks. there is one SEBI regulation, Umesh, and you'll obviously be able to lend more clarity on this, which actually talks about the cropped signature. I think yeah. there, that's that's one case where actually SEBI has said that you can't even use an Aadhaar e-sign for that specific case. You have to use a cropped signature. Correct. So in that case, only sign upload would be valid. Yeah. That's a specimen signature requirement by them. Specimen signature requirement. Great. Th thanks so much, Umesh. Thanks so much for the questions because they clarify, uh, I think, everyone's understanding uh, on the product as well. So thanks. So My much. pleasure. My pleasure. My experience coming out, nothing else. Always happy to hear from you. Uh, so does anyone else have any questions? Uh, please feel free to raise your hand or ask the questions in the Q&A box. Uh, Alternatively, you can also reply to an email we'll send you, you know, the email will send you the recording. You, if, you know, some question crops up way after the webinar, please feel free to reply to that email with your question. Uh, let me also uh, drop Siddhan, Sanjana and my coordinates in the chat box, dropping our email IDs. Sanjana, your email ID is also just Sanjana, right? Not the last name. Is. So. Yes, yes. So, you know, please feel free to reach out to us as well. We'll be happy to answer any questions. Uh, happy to take you through the product as well uh, in more detail. Uh, so, yeah, this is just the beginning for sign upload. Extremely excited uh, to see where it, you know, how the product develops, how use cases develop for it. Uh, once again, Siddhan, Sanjana, thanks so much for your time. And uh, yeah, and thanks for building a great feature.